Hey guys, Aaron here with Anarchy Outdoors. Today we're going to talk about bipods. One of the mottos we have here at Anarchy Outdoors is if we don't really use it in the field, we don't really carry it and offer it to our customers. So here we have what I consider to be kind of three of the golden standards of bipods. There are some other great bipods that are not in this list. Um, I just don't have a ton of personal experience with them. So let's start off with kind of the most economical bipod. That would be Harris Engineering Bipods. These are great bipods. They're spring-loaded. They connect to a swivel stud on almost every rifle. It comes with a swivel stud. They attach well. They're in about the $110 price range. Uh, and they vary kind of a bunch of different models, but it's mostly the height of the legs. This is a great introductory bipod or a great bipod uh, for, for a hunting rifle. Or I have some friends who compete with Harris Bipods as well in PRS or NRL uh, competitions. It's a great bipod, not 100% versatile, but a very great option. And then here, uh, one of the golden standards in all of bipods is Atlas or uh, b and Industries. They make some of the most outstanding bipods on the market. Uh, this one here is the Cal Bipod. These bipods range between $200 and $300, depending on the options that you use with them. Uh, I really like the Cal Bipod if I'm not doing any panning or swiveling. It's a great bipod for, for 22 rifles um, and for other competition rifles. It's great for hunting rifles and different things. If you're not having to pan on the front of your gun, which means swiveling the, the point where the bipod is, um, in 180 degree motion. If you don't have to do that, I recommend the BT-65 Cal, great bipod. I uh, used one for years on my 22 competition rifle. Uh, I love it. And then we have kind of their gold standard before the Cal came out, we have the BNT 46 PRS bipod. Just kidding. We have the BNT 10 uh, here which is the same as the PRS-16, except, or sorry, it's the same as the BNT-46, except for the 46 is made with 7075 aluminum, and this one is made with 6065. So, supposedly, uh, they're both great aluminum metal, supposedly the 7075 is more durable. Um, so the price point difference between those is, is a little bit, but the BNT and the, the BNT-10 and the uh, Atlas BT-46 are the same. They both have pan swivel on the front. Most of them come with a Picatinny AMD mount, uh, which hooks onto a Picatinny, uh, Picatinny rail, which um, if your rifle doesn't come with one, you can add one. The market is shifting away from Picatinny. It is shifting towards what is called Arca Swiss or Arca rails, which this is an AMD Arca Swiss mount. It locks onto a rail that you mount on the bottom of your rifle. It's what tripods have used for a long time. So those are the Atlas bipods. They're great bipods. I highly recommend them. Uh, when people ask me which bipod should I get, it typically lands in this use case. I ask them what they're using it for because that's the difference between a bipod with no panning on the front or a bipod that you need more durability. So instead of making the B10, you go with the B46. They also make um, some really wide bipods for the U50 BFG guys out there and, and your large caliber guys as well. So that's Atlas. So we've covered Harris Atlas and then a relative newcomer to the bipod scheme of things. I mean, newcomer, it's been a couple of years since they've come out, is we have the Skypod. The Skypod, um, originally produced by a guy named Sky, and then MDT purchased them. This here is the one I use personally for competitions. It is a Arca Swiss Picatinny mount here in the middle. So you can mount this on both an Arca, Arca Swiss rail or a Picatinny rail. And then this happens to be the double pull. These bipods are on anywhere from 400 to... 1200, I believe, if you get the triple pull. Um, I really like the double pull for the versatility of competition. Uh, we'll throw up a couple of pictures of different instances that I've used them. But like I said, I've used the Atlas bipods for years and I still use them in certain competitions. 
but the versatility of being able to extend your bipod up in tall situations or put one leg forward or one leg up or collapse one leg just makes this double pull uh, skypod super versatile in competitions. Would I recommend this bipod for someone who's just shooting off a bench? No, I'd probably recommend an Atlas. If the budget didn't allow for that, then I would recommend the, the Harris uh, bipod. So guys, I just wanted to give a brief overview of some of the bipods that we carry here at Anarchy and the different considerations that you would use in selecting a bipod. So just as a quick recap, just basic, get out, shoot your gun, enjoy life, $110 um, Atlas. Sorry, $110 Harris Engineering bipod. And then if you're gonna, if you're just learning competition or if you're looking to explore competition shooting or if you're hunting or you want a highly reliable uh, bipod that does that is not spring loaded, meaning if you push forward on your rifle, those springs will collapse your bipod and the nose of your gun will go in the dirt. If you're looking for a stable bipod that's not spring loaded, the Atlas bipods are excellent. There are several different options. We're always here to help. Message us, call us, we'll help you select the right bipod uh, in the Atlas world. And then same thing, if you're a competition shooter and you want the versatility of doing crazy positional shooting, um, we offer the single pole uh, sky pods and the double pole sky pods as well. I went from an Atlas to this bipod and I decided to go with the double pole as for the versatility of this versus the price of, of the single pole, it seemed more reasonable to go with this. And I mean, I say reasonable, it's $800 um, bipod, but it also, it depends on, on what you want to use it for and different things like that. So again, guys, sound off on what you think uh, or sound off on what's your favorite bipod, uh, which bipods you have experience with, which bipods you wish you had experience with. Sound off in the comments again, like and share our videos. Until next time, guys, stay safe. Mm -hmm.